What's up, YouTube? I'm going to be giving some tips here on Nazi zombies on the map Verndecta on the first download. I think it's Verndecta anyways. One of the first things I want to comment on was back there it showed a layout of the entire place. And if you don't really know the map or pretty much everything about it, how it's shaped, I would say to study that for a little while. This is actually my first game back. I just bought World at War back uh, yesterday, and I decided the thing I loved most about it was zombies, which was what made me buy the game back. But it, it's a good game, it just... I don't know. But I just want to keep to anything you might not know, anything that might help you get to higher rounds. I'm assuming everyone knows how to play the first couple waves, so I'm just going to be fast forwarding it. Actually, I want to say ahead of time, I'm going to be fast forwarding a lot of parts of this video because it was a longer video and I'm trying to fit a lot into it. But for the first rounds, I recommend sticking to your knife and a couple pistol shots and then knife them if they don't go down from one knife. Keep your distance, but you can bore up the windows while shooting zombies to keep them out first two or three rounds. Uh, I happen to spawn on the right side, which isn't normal, but I grabbed a Springfield, but you can grab the uh, M1 Grand, I believe, that's right over there on the wall, for a few more points. It might last you a bit longer, but I can, I can deal with the bolt action. Cheaper. I usually keep it a lot longer than I actually do a M1 Grand or a Gewehr on the other side. One of the things you should always do is take advantage of insta-kill. Don't, even though I'm doing it right now, don't waste your time boarding up windows. Just uh, try to focus on zombies, use your knife if you can. Always switch to your weakest weapon, whether it's a pistol, bolt-action rifle, whatever's your weaker weapon, switch to that. Uh, in the next room you've got, at least going this way, you've got a double barrel shotgun and a Thompson. I'd recommend spending the money on the Thompson because it can take out a lot more zombies a single time and it can sometimes save your ass when you get into a tight spot. Definitely like alongside with insta-kill you should utilize the power-ups the zombies drop, power-ups or rewards, I don't know what you want to call them. When you have a two times multiplier try to just lay out shots on a zombie even if you can't kill him and board up windows as much as you can. Um, grab a nuke. When, the, when you see the nuke, try to wait. If you're getting overwhelmed, obviously grab it. And if you haven't guessed by now, this is for a solo play. This isn't for team 2, 3, 4 of any kind. Maybe I'll make a guide for that if this goes good. But Especially if you're playing solo, I recommend buying Bouncing Betty's. They're just one of the few things that'll watch your back. And I like to use them as kind of a perimeter. That's a kind of fallback safety net area. <laughs> oh god, I remember that guy scared me. And the box. Oh, the box. You gotta have the box take pity on you to do well in zombies. Right there, it was my first day back, so it pitied me and it gave me a browning, which you can't ask for too much better than that. I'd actually take a browning over a ray gun. And I'm mostly just surviving up here. When you get into the power room, turn on the power. Um, I just want to say what I did here was I call it the Betty glitch. I didn't invent this. I didn't find this. I found this on YouTube. Jeez. It's what YouTube's all about. Sharing ideas and bettering yourself. But um, it's where you're about to lay down a bouncing Betty and you hold X to buy a soda out of one of the machines. It doesn't have to be anyone in particular. And you'll have no weapon. And the next thing you pick up will give you a, another weapon. You'll have a third weapon slot. You can do it actually up to four times. More actually if you um, go down and you lose your perks in a multiplayer, but that's something else. If you do choose to do that, I recommend only having three to four, because it's very helpful. I messed up back there because I actually got a Molotov, which doesn't count as a weapon. But here I um, can't remember. Do I play it safe? I think I run. I might run back for the box or. No, I grabbed the double barrel, sawed off with grip on the wall, which I 
do recommend doing instead of trying to look at the box because this thing it'll there are a couple weapons in this game you'll have to experiment with what you like you you can obviously see just get a feel from the way I'm playing the game like I kinda I play defensively I kinda like to hold a line like this kitchen area in particular Dis despite of what side you come from I recommend to hold here as long as you can oh boy did I get lucky here that's also zombies it's just it's just fifty percent luck fifty percent skill having a strategy is skill being able to hold your own skill but getting out of situations like that getting good weapons that's that's luck um, yeah I didn't use my grenades too much but if you have a lot of zombies coming you can kinda hold them at a choke point Toss a bunch of nades like at those stairs if there were a bunch coming up. Just throw a couple down the stairs. It'll turn them into crawlers, and the crawlers will be turned into dust from your second one. Always throw two because a crawler can just knee at your legs and it'll be all over because you won't know where you're getting hit from. Perks I recommend buying if you're playing solo. There's really no point to buying Quick Revive. I recommend keeping to. Uh, Juggernaut and Sleight of Hand. If you want Double Tap, that's fine, but I don't find it a necessity. Um, yeah, see how I kind of... I lost my the way I was comfortable back at the kitchen, so I kind of had a Betty Field set up so I could open some doors. And throwing a Molotov, that was stupid. I thought I was done here, actually. But I, yet again, survive. I'm not sure. Game just taking pity on me, or... But I wouldn't have survived that without Juggernaut. I'd recommend buying Sleight of Hand first, but Juggernaut as soon as possible. I'd also recommend, like, I have a lot of money here, and I should have spent a little bit more to try and get a ray gun, or another machine gun, like an MG. But I, I don't know why I kind of stuck to this. I was sort of liking the shotgun. And it can be really effective with Sleight of Hand. Certain guns, like the sawed-off shotgun, the Thompson, become more effective even in later rounds if you have a certain perk like sleight of hand and ones like the mp40 or um... even just semi-automatic rifles can become a little bit more useful with the double tap and just kinda holding your line here again I get very lucky and get through that door now something interesting the way the way I spawned if you come to where I am now, how I just opened up that room with the couch, um, there's a breakaway wall, but they actually won't come through there if you open it. the doors in that order of going from the right side where I spawned all the way around. And it's the same way from going from the left side. They won't spawn on that window to my left right now and just not open the door, and you can actually have a secure room. I'm not sure if it's a glitch or just like... They're trying to help you out a little bit. Uh, I'm actually surprised because, like I said, this is my first game back. So obviously, it's kind of like riding a bike. I, I never forgot. Eventually, I get a PPSH or the Papa Shah, as no one seems to call it. And yeah, see, once you're out, once you think you might lose a spot, don't kind of risk it. Now I have everything open. What I should have done, and what I usually do, is keep running in a big circle around the map. Only take shots when you can, like there. I got hit for a second and instantly spun around in a circle. Kind of leave yourself a spot to run. Switch to your lightest weapon. Don't light Molotovs like I'm doing unless it's a last resort. Here's my third, where I almost got killed. Should have been killed, but... Yet again, luck was on my side, which is rare, but I like to board up windows for points, and it kind of gives me a little bit more time. And if you get a little too overwhelmed, there are traps. Take advantage of the environment. Like on either side right now, like what I'm doing, I'm setting up an electric trap and just kind of regaining, reloading all my guns, getting ready to run again, which is the system I usually stick to for as long as I can. But usually something bizarre happens. 
kind of like this time, but I guess I can't complain because I should have been dead three times. And just utilize the whole map, find weapons you're comfortable with, find the perks that work for you. Pray to the box, just... It's all about the box. If the box doesn't like you, you're kind of... kind of on your own. The game's wrapping up because this zombie, maybe not this one, but one coming up, pushes me into my own trap. And it's just embarrassing, but I hope you liked the video. If you want more tips on any other maps or multiplayer for more people, just uh, let me know. Thanks for watching.